Kaizen Academy is organizing a combat for those who are preparing for GATE 2023 exam. This combat is on 12th December at 11 am. 20 questions will be asked in 60 minutes. Guys, based on your performance in this combat, you can get a chance to win up to 100% scholarship on the Unacademy subscription as well as 100 lucky participants will get an exciting opportunity for winning the things like Apple iPad, JBL headphones, etc. And guys, this is an all India competition. So you can check for yourself that where do you stand. Guys, new batches for GATE and ESC 2023 for Unacademy are starting from 8th December 2021. If you wish to enroll, use my coupon code. You will get additional 10% off on your subscription. Guys, under this subscription, you will get a chance to speak from toppers of this field wherein they will share their experience at how they topped their field. Next thing is that you can talk with your favorite educators in live classes and clear your doubts one to one. The Unacademy app is built in such a way that you can simply ask a doubt by clicking the picture of the question and sending it to the right subject or to the right mentor. And guys, under this subscription, you can also book one to one live live sessions from for your mentor wherein you can clarify your concepts, discuss your doubts and there will be live mentoring sessions for the exam strategy also. Guys, there is an offer from Unacademy. If you enroll in Unacademy subscription for 12 months, then you will get two months extra for free. And this offer is valid till 9th of December only. So if you are interested, then do check out this offer. You will save at least 8000 rupees on your offer. And if you wish to buy any of the subscription, then do use my coupon code you will get 10% extra discount on that coupon code to code bashers guys in this video i will be discussing the latest infosys interview experience for the system engineer role this interview happened recently only on 6th december 2021 so guys kindly make sure that you watch it till the end because the lot of interviews are still going on and if you have not got the mail till now just wait you will definitely get the mail for the interviews guys this is the this is the 14th Infosys interview experience that I am covering on this channel. Out of these 14 videos, I am really sorry. Uh, out of these 14 videos, 5 videos are for the Infosys system engineer role. 3 to 4 videos are for the SCS role that is DSC role. And 2 to 3 videos are for the PP role for the Infosys only. So if you have interviews for any of these profiles, kindly watch this playlist and prepare for yourself. And guys, one more thing, I have recently started my blog in which also I post regular interview experiences. So if you will visit this blog of mine, the link is in the description box. You can see three buttons that is for my entry. There are interview experiences that have been posted on this blog for Infosys. Also three interview experiences have been posted till now and I will be posting regularly on this blog for different companies also. So kindly visit this link also if you are preparing for any company's interview. So guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it as well as join my Telegram groups also. I am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions which are getting asked in them. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting a video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was 6th December 2021. The branch of my friend was IT. The duration of the entire interview was 25 minutes. Now guys, the first question that was asked from this candidate in this interview was explain your project in detail. And guys, this is a very important question as per the interview because in every interview, this question is asked and by this question, the interview knows that what are your, what are the things that you have worked for yourself in college, but technologies, you know, and you know that how to build a project. So, yeah. so my pro, uh, my friend's project was based on machine learning. So he explained entire. A project that how it works and what are the functionality or the, what are the different libraries that have been used in it and guys if you do not know that how you have to explain your project in an interview then i have made a separate video on this channel in which i have discussed in step by step detail that how you have to explain your project to the interviewer in uh, different steps the link of that video i will give in the description box or in the i button make sure to visit it so this was the first question and the uh, the project was based on machine learning. So next few questions were are based on machine learning only. I will be discussing them. But guys, do remember that the technology that you have used in your projects, you must know those technologies. Okay. Now the uh, next question was I have said that two to three questions were based on machine learning only. So first question was explain KNN algorithm. And guys, this is the basic machine learning algorithm that is used for any 
task so knn stands for k nearest neighbor and it is a classification algorithm so how does it work let's suppose we have two categories of data one is category a and one is category b now we have a new data point that is lying somewhere here so now how we will find it whether this particular data point is present in category a or it will be present in category b so here uh, knn can uh, be used so here what we'll do we will find the we will take a k value let's suppose we have taken k is equal to 5 let just suppose we have taken k is equal to 5 so now what will happen we will take uh, we will find out the data points five data points that are near to this particular new point so let just suppose these are the five data points that that are near so three are from category a and two are from category b and these are the five data points that are nearest to this new data point so now three are from category a and two are from category b so since the number of data points from category e a are more close to the number of data points from category b then it means that this particular new data point will be belonging to this category a so i hope this particular algorithm is clear to you this is the simplest machine learning algorithm okay the next question was what is pca so guys those who have learned machine learning they know that pca stands for principal component analysis and it helps us in data reduction that is uh, we have large amount of columns that are present in our data so what does pca does it just removes uh, it just uh, keeps the maximum information with it, it itself and removes the remaining information and by this the data size is reduced so this is what pca stands for and if you want to know more in detail you can simply visit the geeks for geeks links link for pca the link i will give in the description box next question was which language you prefer so my friend said java that he prefers java so again the first basic question that uh, can be asked from languages let explain the oops concept so a uh, oops concept stands for abstraction encapsulation polymorphism inheritance and guys this question is asked in 10 out of 10 interviews so therefore i have made a separate video on this also that how you have to explain each and every oops concept in detail to the interviewer with the help of real life example so again that video i will give in the i button or in the description box make sure to visit it and uh, like next question was what does public void static mean public static void mean stands for i am really sorry Uh, what does public static void mean mean uh, main stands for in java so those of you who know java you must have written code and first function the main function is declared like public static void main so here public uh, public is an access modifier which specifies from where and who can access the method you all know that the method that are public can be accessed from anywhere inside the code next uh, next is static now the main method is a static so that jvm can invoke it without initiating initiating the class so main method you know can be called can be called directly by the class name and not by the object so therefore this main method is static next is void void means that this function does not return anything and now last last is the main that is main stands for it is the main method in java because you must remember that in c++ also we define int main so int main means that it returns an integer so return zero we do in c++ but here it is void void main so void does not turn any value and main stands for main method so i hope this question is also clear to you next were the two questions were given write the code for linear and binary search so there are both the codes i have written for you you can simply take the screenshot whenever you are going in any company's interview you must know the basic two searching algorithms and five basic sorting algorithms searching algorithms are linear search and binary search whereas sorting algorithms are bubble sort selection sort insertion sort merge sort and quick sort so while you are giving interviews you must know at least these things in the programming section so i hope these two algorithms are clear to you next question was based on databases and it is a very commonly asked query in a interview that is write the query for the second highest salary in table so for your reference this is the this is the query that you are looking for that is select max salary from table where salary not equal to select max salary from table so this particular query will give you the second highest salary in the table so i hope this thing is clear to you the last question was uh, of this interview was based on join that the candidate was asked to explain all the joins that are present in dbms so the, there are four majorly four joins that are present we also con consider self join also but you can say majorly four joins are there first one is simple join or you can say inner join or natural join so this one is inner join or natural join in this when two tables are multiplied with each other then only those 
uh, only those rows which are common in both the tables we take that we will take that value full join you uh, full join is equal to left join plus right join but is left join the rows that are present in both the tables will be taken and the rows which are present in the left table and not in the right table will be taken next is right join right join in uh, in right join the rows that are common in both the tables will be taken plus the rows that are present in the right table but not in the left table will be taken and full join i have told you that it is the combination of left join plus right join so i hope these joins are clear to you and guys if you are preparing for the infosys interview or any other company's interview then kindly visit my uh, youtube channel also as well as on my blog channel also lot of interview experiences have been posted on, on both of these platforms so kindly visit it the link you will find in the description box there is a complete playlist of uh, infosys interview experience of my, on my channel and there is a complete section of infosys interview experiences on my blog also the links are in the description box so guys if you find found this video helpful to you so kindly hit the like button as well as subscribe button for this channel thank you for watching it